Hello guys, my name is James Contrast and in this video I'm going to show you my top features of the new iPad OS 13.4 and we are starting right now. So with iPad OS 13.4, Apple finally made it possible to share folders with iCloud Drive. And you can actually do this with the Files app. Just go to iCloud Drive and choose the folder you want to share. So in this case I choose the collaboration folder, press and hold and tap on share. You just tap on add people and you can even choose if you want to give people the permission to make changes or only give them the permission to view those files within the folder. Also here you can change how you would like to send your invitation to. So it could be via messages or mail or any other software which is supported and you can just copy the link and send it via WhatsApp for example. The next feature I want to cover can be found within the mails app and here you can see the new arrangement of buttons. In the top right corner you see that you now can delete, move or compose an email and on the bottom right corner you can see the quick reply button which pops up a menu where you can flag or unflag certain mails or do things like mark as unread. And finally, we got full mouse and trackpad support with the new iPadOS 13.4. And I will show you all the features with the example of this Logitech M590 Bluetooth mouse. So first of all, make sure that you turn on the mouse and go to the settings. Make sure that Bluetooth is turned on as well. And right now you can see already showing up right here. Just tap on it, tap pair and you're good to go. To show you all the different settings I'm gonna start at the general menu and you, here you have a new point called trackpad and mouse. The first thing you want to do is to decide if you want to stay with the natural scrolling you're used to from any Apple device or you want to change it back to the more traditional one. Also possible is to change the secondary click so you can choose between left and right for the secondary option but I will keep it at the right one. So right now, if you take a look, if I press on the right button, there comes the secondary menu. Back to the settings app and let's take a look at the second important menu point which can be found under accessibility and here in the physical and motor section you will find the pointer control. Let's quickly go through this. Increase contest is good that you are able to see the pointer when going over brighter and darker surfaces like this. The second point is automatically hide the pointer after a certain amount of time. So I can change that to longer periods or down to the minimum possible which is two seconds. So if I leave the mouse alone for like two seconds, it should disappear. Here you go. And now I can use my iPad like before. Let's go back to the pointer control. I skip this one for now because I wanna show you the pointer size where you can 
change the size of the actual pointer and right here you see that you still see where the center of the click will be if you go to the color you can change it to white blue red green yellow or orange and even can change the thickness of the outer circle now let's change that back to something more traditional and something like that so the next point is the point animations and this is the actual really new feature so if you turn that off the pointer still appears if you point it towards a button like that or even if you if you go to the home screen it also stays over the buttons right here so i'm gonna leave that on as well so if you turn it back you see that now it's highlighting everything I want to choose and the pointer disappears. Let me show you one more example of this tool right now. Let's go to the browser and right now you can see that if you go over the text right here, it changes to this text icon and I can easily select words or certain parts of that text and right now if I right click it's easy to copy look up or share this part of the text and let's go back to the settings we got one more point to cover which is the scrolling speed and there you can choose between the turtle and the rabbit mode so right now with the rabbit it's very very fast to scroll down and up the settings now guys, let me know what your favorite feature of the new iPadOS is and put it in the comments down below. Hit the like button if you found any value in this video and subscribe to the channel for more free content like this. And I shall see you guys in the next video.